What is up guys? Today we're going to be talking about Super Smash Brothers and how I think it could be ending. Well, not ending. Okay, so I think that Super Smash Brothers is going to probably become smaller. I made a video about this a while back, but it was kind of bad. <laughs> so I'm trying to make a better one. Unscripted this time. So it was, yeah, it's... Sakurai has put all of this all of his effort into Super Smash Brothers for the past eight years. He went from Smash 4 development right into DLC development for Smash 4, and from there right into Ultimate, and from Ultimate into Ultimate DLC product, which is insane that he's been dedicating all this time to your Smash Brothers. So I could definitely assume that he's going to be focusing on a new project once uh, Ultimate is over with. He might be uh, making Smash Brothers, but I'm not so sure this guy is about to kill me. Yep. But I do definitely think that with all we've gotten, with how we've been blessed by Sakurai and everything we've gotten, that the next Smash game will definitely be smaller. I mean, honestly, we've seriously, this is, this game is a miracle. Smash Ultimate is truly a miracle. If I was told back in 2014 that in five years we would have a game that has every single character, Ice Climbers are back, Snake's back, Pichu, Young, Link! Oh, God! I love to do that. Pichu and Young Link are back. Every single... All of those guys. They're all returning. Ganon's better than ever. Zelda has actually become a good character. All of that. Pokemon Trainer's back. I would not believe you. And then they say K. Rool and Ridley are in the game. You say that? I would really not believe you. And then you say Banjo's in the game and Sans is a me costume. I, no, I would slap you for lying to me. And look, look at what we've gotten. This all sounds like a dream. I, I feel like this is not unreal. And I feel, uh, I, I'd assume most other people feel that way too. Because this feels genuinely just out of this world. Non-existent God! It, it feels too good to be true. It feel, genuinely feels fake that we've gotten all this. Piranha Plant, Piranha, it, it feels like Piranha Plant's just been there from the start now. Now that we've had them for so long, which is really funny. But... Yeah, we might, Sa Sakurai might be leaving the dev team for the next Smash game. I'd, I'd bet that they beg for him to stay, to keep, to stay on the dev team, on the design team and all that, and head the next Smash Brothers game, because he's the father of it. He would definitely know how to do it best. He's made, this always happens. This always happens. I hate snowballs. I can, yeah, I could assume they'd beg for him to stay. He might stay, I don't know, but it's definitely being smaller, and it feels bad. It feels bad to think that Smash Bros. could be shrinking, considering, but I mean, it's not not feel bad that Smash Bros. is shrinking, but it feels bad that such iconic characters, characters that it won't, doesn't feel like Smash Bros. without. I mean, it feels, doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel like Smash Bros. without. Feel It feels like Smash Bros. with, I guess you could say. It, it started to, at least. The fact that they, they would have to get removed really sucks. Thinking about thinking about that really sucks. But it's just a, a fact we're going to have to come to terms with that some characters are probably going to have to get removed uh, for this game production. Which makes me feel sad, of course. Thinking about some characters that I've highly anticipated, like maybe Mega Man or Snake or Ice. Well, not, not Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers feel like a mainstay. But, like, Snake. Uh, uh, maybe Pokemon Trainer, depending on... How powerful the console is and 3DS. Those characters would have to get removed. Thinking about that, really, uh, just got killed. Really sucks. But I, f I feel most people feel the same at this uh, with uh, about this as me. If it's bad, we can just go back to Ultimate. If we want every character, we can just go to Ultimate. And we Sakurai needs a break. We've been spoiled so much with this miracle of a game that if we only got 20, 30 characters, I would be, I, I'd ex I expect it at this point. And not in a negative way, like I expect him to, I expect to be let down, but I expect there to be less characters, especially because that's what Sakurai has mentioned, uh, cutting a few characters. But, and I'm fine with it. I understand. Uh, if there are people that aren't, that really just sounds unreasonable. But, yeah, the, the reason why it feels like it's uh, there's such an air of finality to uh, do this game is kind of why I've been talking about Sakurai maybe leaving, or the game being cut short, 20, 30 characters, uh, less amount of stages going back to maybe a brawl size. Uh, but, 
that leads into a different topic, which is what might Sakurai's next project be? I'm, I'd assume if he, I, I'd, first of all, I'd assume that he'd be working on a new game, because he is primarily a game developer. I mean, he came up with a whole game philosophy, Kirbyism. Everybody knows about Kirbyism. At least every intelligent person knows about Kirbyism. But, <laughs> I mean, he's such a god at video game development that he made a whole philosophy out of it. And many people, at least somewhat, incorporate that philosophy, making it good for beginners, but also great for oldies who are not beginners. God, I can't speak. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe his next project would be Kid Icarus, I'd hope. I never got to play Kid Icarus on, uh, on the 3DS because I never got it. And I heard that it was good, and it had lots of fourth wall break jokes in Smash Brothers, which, uh, ah, damn it! But yeah, who's was falling in love with as a mother fanboy is falling in love with all other games that love to break the fourth wall, like Undertale, and, and uh, I, I, it sucks to admit it. I don't, I don't like call myself an Undertale fan considering the stigma around it. But I think that stigma has kind of fallen over the years. People kind of stopped talking about Undertale, stopped acting all obsessed about it, so I, I think it's okay for me to say that I'm a fan of Undertale now. But yeah, those games, Lisa, Lisa doesn't break the fourth wall, but I still love it. It's got very funny humor, and it's really sad, very inspired by Earthbound. Those games, I've fallen in love with, just love them. Love them to pieces, my god. L Lisa is so good. Now, thinking about how Kid Icarus is kind of like that, I want to play some Kid Icarus, and a new Kid Icarus game would be cool. Maybe this is this is a really far shot. Maybe he'll get back into making Kirby games, considering that Star Allies has had this grand finale, revealing that Kirby is secretly a god, not and Kirby is secretly the god, not just a god, but the god and the god of destruction and horror. And only if he was born of good does he become a little pink puffball. If he's born of evil, he becomes literally Satan and will gobble everything up. And really good music. The chiptune Green Greens theme really got to me. D uh, again, <laughs> no tears. Not none yet. But, <laughs> but still, it got to me. It, it made me feel... And that also had an air of finality. Really? Why do all these games... Oh, no. Oh, wow, I lived. Why do all these games have an air? Oh, I still lived. All of these games... No! Why do all of these games <laughs> have such an air of finality to them? I don't know if the Switch really... And it's weird, because the Switch is doing extremely well. It's not like Nintendo... This is this is the Dreamcast of Nintendo. No, this is... This is like the... The new Wii, almost. I don't know. The, the Wii appealed to everybody. So does the Switch. This well, the Switch appeals more to medium to hardcore gamers, whereas the Wii appealed. To, it appealed to boomers. That's how appealing it was. But still, I'd, I'd say mm, kind of like a new age Wii. But yeah, maybe he's working on new Kirby. That would be kind of badass if Sakurai started working on his child again, his original little pink boy. Uh, but. He doesn't have to. I'm not Sakurai. I'm not his. I'm. I'm not his. His boss. I'm not. I'm not the one who dictates what he does and does not. Oh Jesus Christ! I don't want that. I do not like that. I'm going to run away. I do not dictate what he does and does not create. I don't want to. I think Sakurai would be a lot happier if he had free will. And be, being controlled by the fans sounds like hell. I'm about to die. And I wouldn't wish that fate upon my worst enemy. He could work on something completely new, and I mean, that would be pretty cool. I mean, seeing something new with, headed by Sakura. Everybody knows him. Well, everybody knows him as Smash guy and the Kirby guy. But also, everybody sees him as the, the uh, pinnacle of game developer now. I mean, not. I don't know. I guess there's more popular game developers. But at least in the Smash community, everybody sees him as, like, hardworking dude knows what's going on, wants the fans to be happy first and foremost. So, yeah, I could I could understand him uh, doing something like that and people being all on board. 
other games, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what other games he would make. Any other fan? Mother 4? Nah, <laughs> no. Not a Mother 4 is not a thing, sadly, the fan the fan game. E Toy said something about how he wanted the fans to make the next Mother game. And the fan, he wanted to be an inspiration to his fans, which he accomplished. He, he, Sugar Sato E Choi accomplished the inspiration. His goal of it. Is that guy trying to off a peace offering? Okay, that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Let me take this time to just like. Beep. Boop, boop, boop. Boom, ba deep, bim, boop, 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 boop. Gonna. Hopefully. Nope, I died. It, my main. That. My main point is. Yes, we were blessed with Smash Ultimate. And I want to make note of that because I feel. I, honestly, I just feel like. Th this. This gigantic gift has been handed to me that I don't deserve. I really just. I truly. That's. The, that's a trap. Truly feel like I don't deserve this. Like. This, it, it, it feels like I just got rewarded for doing nothing, and I can't believe that. Like, that, it feels weird to be able to have this game. Really? you really gonna... I, I straight up, I just want to rejoice. <laughs> that, that's the way I'll put it. It feels like, straight up, God himself has descended from the heavens. And then, like, straight up manifested this video game. <laughs> it's just, Smash Ultimate's a gift from God. That's what I'm, basically what I'm saying. This game. And now we get to have it. This is straight up divine. <laughs> and I, I might sound weird. This might sound like, why why the shit am I religiousizing a video game? It, it's because, I don't know, I, it just feels... Too good to be true. It feels like you really make me angry. That's what it feels like. Is he? <laughs> you <laughs> you doing good? <laughs> Need some help? Need you, you some help? Ah uh, ah! Uh. Free frog kit. Free frog kit. Ah! Uh, nice. It seriously just feels like straight up we we just got gifted by God. We got straight up just decided. No, I think she's had a pretty rough time. Let's give him literally the best thing ever, and then we got it. And I mean the the fact that we're getting more. That's the main thing I want to highlight. We're getting more. Sakurai is giving us more. We got all of this. All Banjo, Ridley, Snake's back. Ice Icy's are back. Uh, K K rule, Joker, <laughs> the goddamn it, Joker. No one even thought Joker would be in, and he's in. He, no one even considered Joker. The fact that he's in, and Joker, Joker being in Smash kind of plays the has played the same role as Ness being in Smash. It's exposed people to an RPG series, oddly enough, ironically enough, not oddly enough, that is super good, and that no one would. Not no one, but lots of people would not be aware of if it wasn't for Smash Brothers. I can tell you one thing's for sure. If it was not for Smash Brothers, I would not have one of the most integral games of my childhood, Earthbound. And I'd be able to say, Earthbound's almost as integral, or even maybe even more integral, than Minecraft is. They both came into my life around the same time. So that's one thing. This guy, this guy, this guy. He had no. What, did he know what he was? Did he know what he was doing? Because if he did, then man, he was really playing dumb. You lag backs? Lag backs? Nah. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm the last one. I'm the last one. But let me finish what I was saying. The fact Smash Brothers' impact on me and other gamers has been massive. The fact that we've gotten this game is straight up a blessing. Like we don't, that we, no way we deserve this. There, no, we, the the fact that we got this is surreal to me. It's the one of the most. The, the fact that Gino and Minecraft Steve actually have a reasonable chance to be in this game is appalling. Not not appalling. Appalling is more of a negative word. It's 
just really, it's insane. The, like, these two characters, one of which has been highly requested. The reason why I think Gino has such a good chance is because Gino's been, like, super requested since Smash Bros. has been a thing, really. Is this guy really gonna... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't appreciate you! I don't appreciate you! God. I got so angry. Gino's been, like, Gino, Banjo, Ridley, K. Rule, all these guys have been requested for so long, and three of those four have made it in. And characters like Sans, Shovel Knight have made it into Smash Brothers, whether it be their assist trophy or me costume. They're still in the game. Minecraft Steve has... The fact that many people think that Minecraft Steve actually has a chance, that... I... I wouldn't even consider... I thought Minecraft and Smash Brothers... I, 2014 me, whenever Ultimate comes out, Minecraft and Smash Brothers, what are you talking about? But now it's like Minecraft and Smash Brothers? That's... That could happen. Shantae, maybe? Like, if it's a character in a video game, then it could happen. Master Chief. Doom Guy. Scorpion! <laughs> oh! And yeah, honestly, I just wanted to take a second to put focus on the fact that God basically has manifested himself into Sakurai and used his power as literally a god to give Sakurai the motivation to make the best Smash Brothers ever. The reason why we're not going to be able to get another one is because God has left his body or is about to leave his body, one of the two. And straight up, uh, I mean, what are you supposed to do? You, you don't have the power of God in you and you, oh, I almost died. You don't have the power of God in you anymore, so all you can do is make normal Smash games. You can only make Smash 4 again. And Smash 4 was good. No one, sadly, I don't think anybody's going to be talking about Smash 4. I mean, everybody's got Brawl, had Subspace Emissary, and it's supposedly the worst. Melee is supposedly the best, and had the biggest, or maybe still, I think still has the biggest uh, competitive presence. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Smash 64 was the original. Oh no, I'm going to die because I'm dumb. Smash 64 was the original. Uh, was it? Smash 64 is the original. Smash Ultimate is the biggest and the greatest. What is, what is 60, uh, 64? What is, Smash Ultimate, not Smash 4. If I said Smash 4, I didn't mean it. What does Smash 4 have? The fact it was on 3DS? Because Ultimate's portable too. Uh, I mean, yeah, we got, that's another thing. It's on the Switch. The Switch is portable. That's pretty badass. So, what does Smash 4 have? It's got... No exclusive characters. No exclusive modes. This guy's really about to fucking bow spam me. Really, just like, leave. Leave this plane. Leave this plane. Not even lying. Just exit. EXIT! This is why I hate the human race. It's like I'm trying to keep this topic going, and then some guy, some tryhard, comes up, speed bridges, ninja bridges, it's not even speed bridges, ninja bridges towards me, throws a million eggs and snowballs at me, and then I fall off a cliff and die, break my ankles, everything. And I'm tired of it! I just want to formulate a single sentence without getting bum rushed. But yes, as I was saying, poor Smash 4 doesn't really have anything to attribute to it. I mean,. N Ness was OP, uh, Cloud was OP, Bayo was OP, that's the game, yeah, it was the game of broken characters, I guess, Diddy was OP, uh, I, I guess that's it, it was the one that had for free for glory, if you want that, until they discontinue Wi-Fi for Wii U, because that would surely happen, you really want to go you really want to combat me my my skill my my skill my skill at edge egg dodging my egg dodging skill is off anyway so yeah i've been pretty much rambling at this point about how poor smash 4 is but i mean smash 4 doesn't really have anything to set itself apart so i mean it's not it didn't have subspace wasn't anything like that it was it's just kind of boring and it's kind of sad that no one's gonna want to uh, visit Smash 4 anymore because yeah, it doesn't really bring anything. It's not the newest with the most characters. 
It's definitely not. No. Okay, I'm just gonna. Can you, I'm just gonna go to the hub and start speak, speaking. I'm tired of that. It's definitely not the best anymore. At least I don't. Some people might argue that Smash Bros. is the best, but those people are few and far between. It doesn't have the most players. I mean, doesn't have any particular modes that are too interesting. It. It's the last one to have trophies. That's something kind of interesting. There should be a trophy spirit. That would be kind of cool. Uh, it's... You can't control Master Hand in it. There are two games now which you can control Master Hand in. Think about that. Uh, it's not the one that introduced Final Smashes, any of that, which is real sad. But what can you do except for um, go to visit every now and then? Say, even though you are probably going to be the least memorable Smash... You're still Smash Brothers, and that means at heart you are good. And I don't know something like that. I don't know. They can't. Games don't have feelings. Oh no, you don't have to do that. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I will see you all next time. Let me wait. Oh, whoop. I'll see you all next time, and hopefully by then, uh, we'll know if Sakurai is planning a new game or something. So yeah, I'll see you then. Not actually, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.